Hello, my lovely YouTube family. Welcome to another full body spicy power flow. This will be a playful and dynamic practice as we work on building strength, tone and length throughout our whole body. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I post weekly here on YouTube. And if you're interested in deepening your practice with me, you're welcome to check out my membership site, Tana Studio, where you find full length 60 minute practices along with breath work, meditation and so much more. All right, when you're ready to start, you're welcome to come onto your mat. Let's get into it. Come onto your hands and your knees into a tabletop position. And then you can spread into your fingers, tuck your toes, and just start by finding a few barrels here. So we're moving the spine in all directions, slow circles. Close your eyes and just forget about what you look like for a moment as you tune into your own specific rhythm. Tuning into the rhythm of your breath and finding a loose quality to your energy, opening the body up and then change directions of the circles, really get into it, bending into your elbows, arching, rounding the spine. And then with your next out breath, you can tuck your toes and lift your chest, coming right into an exaggerated cow shape. Breathe in and then around the spine as you contract cat spine, tuck the chin into the chest space, keeping those toes tucked, draw your hips back downward facing dog. Getting right into our shape, let's begin to pedal out through the feet, bending into one leg and then bending into the other. Just sensing that opening through the backs of your legs here. And then with your next out breath, you can start to lift both of your heels off the floor. Lift your gaze and roll forwards, come into a plank position. Stacking your shoulders over your wrists, push away from the ground. And then it's a slow chaturanga all the way down to the floor. So try to find control as we lower. Inhale, lift your chest, find cobra, arching through the spine. And then softly lowering the chest back down to the floor. One more time, let's breathe in to lift. And then exhale to lower. Hands beneath shoulders, tuck your toes. Feel the connection to the ground that you have through your hands as you push up into a plank position. And then melt your hips all the way back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, guys. On your next round of breaths, lift both heels off the floor, roll forwards, come into a plank position. This time, lower your hips to your wrists, finding hanging cobra. So keep your toes tucked. Feed your heart forwards in between the gates of your shoulders. Breathe in and then bend your knees and slowly melt your hips back downward facing dog. We'll go for a couple rounds like that. Let's lift the heels, roll forwards like a wave, lower the hips down and lift up through the roof of your mouth. Inhale, exhale, rolling hips back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing. And we continue, inhale like you're moving through honey, roll forwards, lower the hips, keep your elbows straight, breathe in. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog. Beautiful, let's go for one more round, roll forwards, feel into the movement, into your breath as you move through it. Exhale, take the hips back, downward facing dog. Beautiful guys. On your next round of breaths, start to reach your right leg into the sky. Find a three-legged dog and then bend into that knee, drawing your foot towards your bum. Take a slow breath in. As you breathe out, lightly step your right foot outside of your right hand in a lizard lunge. Melt your hips down as much as you can. Take an inhale. And then as you breathe out, sink the left knee to the floor, come into half splits. Playing with straightening through the right leg as far as possible. Breathe in to lift. And then breathe out, pull your heart space forwards as you feel into that opening across the back of your leg. Beautiful, shift forwards back into a lunge, lift your left knee off the floor and come into an easy twist. Reach your right fingers into the sky, leaning into right shoulder a lot. Breathe in. Rolling onto the edge of your left foot, side plank with a tree variation, guiding your right foot to the inner part of your left thigh here. Let's lift the hips as you reach up through your right fingers. Feel the energy in both of your arms. Breathe in. As you exhale, sink the right hand to the floor, right knee drops to the mat. Listen carefully, tuck the right toes and lift your left leg off the floor, pointing into the back toes. Bend your elbow in a chaturanga push-up, hold and then slowly push yourself back up using the strength of your arms. We're gonna go for two more rounds, hug the belly in as you lower down. 
and then bring it back up. Beautiful, let's go for one more. You got this, bend the elbows, and then push yourself back up. Drop your left foot to the floor and hug your right knee in towards your chest, hold. And then lower that right knee down and then bring it back in. That's one, we're gonna go for four more. Let's go for it, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, hug that knee into the chest and then send the right toes behind you, three-legged dog, breathe in. Look forwards, shift forwards into a three-legged plank. Now take a vinyasa, but try to find control, chaturanga, to your upward facing dog. And then downward facing dog, hips roll back. Lovely, guys. On your next breath in, left toes reach into the sky, three-legged. Bend into the knee, drawing foot to bum, inhale. Exhale, left foot steps outside of left hand. All right, let's lower those hips down as we guide the chest through. Sinking your right knee down to the floor, come into half splits as we play with straightening through this left leg. Let's lift the chest on the in breath and then make your way forward slightly on your out breath. Begin to rebend into your left leg, lifting your right knee off the floor, come into an easy twist as you reach your left fingers into the sky. All right, let's go for that side plank variation, left foot meets the inner right thigh, tree variation in that side plank, lift the hips, press into the right fingerprints, hold and feel into that strength. Nice and slowly, your left hand meets the ground, left knee sinks down to the floor, tuck your left toes as your right leg lifts. Let's go for those chaturanga arms, bend the elbows, Hold and then push it back up. Nice and strong through the arms and the core. Lower down again. And push it back up. Beautiful, one more time. You got this, stay with it. Slow it down and push it back up. Drop your right foot to the floor, hug your left knee towards your chest and then lower down and hug it into the chest. Let's go for four, three, two, and last one, hug it into the chest, three-legged dog, send your left toes behind you. Look forwards, shift forwards into a three-legged plank, to chaturanga, to upward facing. Peel the heart right through as you open the heart space and then roll it back, downward facing dog. Lovely, let's take a full grounded breath here in through the nose and then give it a sigh through the mouth. Beautiful, let's stretch the right toes back, find a three-legged dog. Hug the right knee to the right elbow. And then lean the weight forwards a lot. Forwards, forwards, forwards. Beautiful, take the toes back again, three-legged. Over towards your left side now. And then lift your left hand off the floor as you kick the right leg through, finding a lifted fallen star situation. Hold as you keep reaching into the foot. And then bend into the right knee, your left hand meets the floor, three-legged dog. Send your right toes behind you. Lightly land your right foot outside of your right hand in a lizard lunge. Okay, beautiful work. Now pull the hips down, take a breath in. Listen carefully, as you breathe out, you'll begin to straighten your front leg and bend into your left knee, but your left knee stays lifted off the floor. Strong quad work here. Rock the body forwards back to your lizard lunge. Breathe in. And then same thing, take the hips back as your left knee stays lifted. You got this. One more time, shift forwards. And then exhale, take it back. <laughs> Hold, breathe. Beautiful, rock the body forwards back into your lunge. Come right into an easy twist. Right arm stretches into the sky. All right, really root the right foot into the floor here. And then take your time, take your sweet time to come up. We're coming up into a twisted lunge. Right arm back, left arm forwards. You got this, stay with it, breathe. Inhale, reach both arms up, finding your midpoint, lengthen out of your waist. Inhale. On the out breath, you're gonna to begin to bend into the left knee and lower down, breathe in, and then bring it back up as you straighten both of your legs. Firm your thighs. And again, we lower down, nice and low. You got this, bring it back up. Lovely, last time, lower it down. And bring it back up. Firm your thighs and your glutes. Lower that left knee down all the way to the floor. Half splits pose, straighten through your right leg. Nice work, let's lift the chest on the in breath. And then take a little fold on your out breath. 
with that out breath. Look forwards, shift forwards onto the right foot, arrow lunge. You're gonna reach your hands out in front of you. Keep your heart space close to the right thigh as you reach through the arms and then take the hands behind you. Beautiful, inhale, sweep them forwards. Exhale, take them back. Inhale, take them forwards. And exhale, take them back. Last time you got this, inhale, reach them forwards. Exhale, take the hands behind you. Now sink the left knee to the floor, Anjayasana. Reach up through the fingertips. Take a slow breath in. As you breathe out, half splits. With a flying variation, taking the fingers behind you, slingshot your heart forwards. And then begin to bend into the right knee, warrior three, we take flight. Reach into the toes, reach into your arms. Guide your left knee up and into the chest space here. And then once you're here, begin to kick into that leg. I know it's strong, you can do it. Reach into that foot and try to lengthen up through the rest of your body. Hold, feel into that strength. Okay, nice and slow, just like a pendulum. You're gonna reach the left leg behind you, warrior three again. Reach back through your toes. And then high lunge, you lightly land the left foot to the floor. Beautiful work, guys. Take a breath in. And then as you breathe out, warrior two side of your space. Grounding into your feet, into your energy. Reverse, breathe in, reversing your warrior. As you exhale, side angle pose. Reverse warrior again. And then rainbow warrior bending into the left leg, glide the arms behind you. Inhale, shift forwards, reverse warrior, reach into the right arm. One more time, rainbow warrior, take it back. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach into your right fingertips. On the exhale, cartwheel your hands to the floor, low lunge. Listen carefully, sink your left knee to the floor, glide your right leg all the way back behind you. Reach into that right foot, point the toes, right hand to right hip point. Okay, we're gonna lift that leg nice and high and lower back down, let's go for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, beautiful, last one, lift it, beautiful. Now drop the right foot to the floor. Lift your left knee in towards your chest or towards your armpit area, reach the right arm tall. All right, option to play here. You can reach for the edge of your left foot with your right hand or you can play with a fallen star variation. All right, and if you have this bind, you might play with kicking to the hand. Maybe looking underneath your right armpit for a little window here. Keep pushing away from the ground through the left hand. I know it's strong, hold. Okay, nice and slow. You're gonna release your foot, right hand meets the floor, downward facing dog. Land both feet lightly to the floor. Take a breath in and then out. Lift the heels, roll forwards, plank to chaturanga, to upward facing dog. And then downward facing hips, roll back through space. Lovely, let's go for one more vinyasa. Flow through it, cruise through it with playful energy, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Roll the hips back. All right, let's take it to the other side. When you're ready, reach your left toes into the air, three-legged. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Lean forwards a lot, and then take your toes back. Find a three-legged dog. Other side, right elbow. Okay, we lift the right hand into the sky as we kick the left leg through, keeping that left leg lifted. Hold and don't hate me, breathe. <laughs> Hold. You got this. Okay, we bend into that left leg, right hand meets the floor, three-legged dog, reach back through your toes. And then look forwards, lizard lunge, left foot outside of left hand. Okay, lovely. Keep your right knee lifted. Take a breath. On your out breath. Begin to bend into the back leg as you keep your left leg straight, flex into the left foot. Lots of hip flexor work here. Rock forwards back into your lunge. And then exhale, take the hips back. Right knee stays bent. Inhale, shift forwards, lunge. Last time, take the hips back. Beautiful, you got this. Okay, shift forwards onto your left leg. Take a breath in. Easy twist, left arm reaches into the sky. All right, feel your left foot really plant into the floor here. Taking your time, as many breaths as you need to get here, we're gonna lift up into that twisted lunge situation. So your right hand is reaching forwards and your left hand is reaching behind you. Hold. 
Reach both arms up, facing forwards, breathe in. Then lower that right knee till it's just hovering off the floor. Stay with it, you got this. We're gonna lift and straighten the legs, firming thighs, and then lower it back down. Two more, breathe in to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower, lovely work. Sink the right knee to the floor, hands to either side of the foot, come into half splits pose as we bow over the left leg. Take a breath in and then melt forwards, coming into our hamstring stretch. Lift your gaze now, shifting forwards onto that left foot. Lift your right knee off the floor as we come into our arrow lunge. Cozy and close to this left thigh. Breathe in to reach through the arms and then take the hands behind you. Inhale, reach them forwards. Exhale, take them back. Inhale to reach, you got it. Exhale, take it back. Feel into that fire, breathe in to reach. Exhale, take the hands behind you. Now sink the right knee to the floor, Anjayasana, reach into the arms. Feel the energy move up the spine, the arms and the fingertips. Half splits, flying variation, fingers reach behind you, slingshot your heart forwards. All right, let's move through this. Warrior three, taking flight. Flying warrior is also there for you, if balance is a little bit of a struggle here. Hold, keep lifting that back leg. And then we guide the right knee into the chest. All right, let's hug it into the chest, reach your arms tall, connect to your center as you kick that leg through. Drishti, as always, for any balancing posture. Look at that unmoving spot in front of you. Focus your energy there. Okay, nice and slowly, start to pivot the right leg behind you, coming into your warrior three shape. Reach into the back toes, breathe in. Okay, high lunge, softly land the right foot to the floor, take one breath in, and then warrior two, side of your mat. <laughs> Reach into your arms, reverse your warrior, breathe into your left side body. Side angle pose on your out breath. <sighs> Reverse your warrior once again, opening it up. And then nice and fluid and dynamic, take it back, rainbow warrior, reach for the space behind you. Inhale, glide the body forwards like a fluid opening dance. And then exhale, take it back, rainbow warrior. Inhale, reverse your warrior, expand as you root into your left foot. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor, meet your left leg. Sink your right knee to the floor and glide your left leg all the way behind you. Okay, so keep your right toes tucked for support here. Left hand to left hip point. Let's lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Beautiful work, guys. Now sink that left foot to the floor behind you. Push into the right hand. Hug the right knee up and into the chest, into the right armpit area. Lift your left arm up, or if you want to play with a bind, reach for the edge of that right foot and kick into the hand, playing with a straight right leg here. Hold, push away from the ground. You got it. Nice and slowly, we're going to release that foot. Left hand meets the floor, step both feet back, downward facing dark. Inhale, lift the heels, roll forwards, plank position. Take your chaturanga to your upward facing dog, and then downward facing hips, roll back through space. Lovely work. Take a full inhale through the nose, and then give it a sigh as you release. Sink into the floor, through the hands and the feet, sink into yourself. We move on, reach the right toes back, three-legged dog. Look forwards now, hug this right knee towards the right elbow, look forwards, lean forwards as much as you can. Try to bring this right thigh as far up onto the right arm bone as possible. Bend into your elbows. Think about chaturanga arms coming into hurdler. Left elbow meets the left hip point, maybe playing with straightening through this right leg. Okay, this right leg can also be bent, that's fine. I want you to start lifting this left leg as high as you can. Okay, engage through your glutes and reach. Just see what happens, remembering to push away from the ground. Okay, nice and strong. If you're here with me, drop the left foot to the floor first, bend into the right leg, three-legged dog, reach back through your toes, take a breath in. 
look forwards and shift forward slowly, three-legged plank. Optional flow here, chaturanga to your upward facing dog. I'm pushing you today, guys. You can do it. <laughs> Downward facing dog, take it back. All right, we're gonna do it on the other side. You can slow it down as much as you need. Reach the left toes into the sky. Left knee to left upper arm, elbow area. Okay, I want you to bring this leg once again as high up onto the arm bone as you can. Elbows bend. Right hip meets that right elbow. Playing with hurdler if you have it in your practice. All right, keep the back leg engaged. Your face will be close to the floor, that's fine. That is where we are at. And then drop those toes to the floor. We send the left toes behind us, three-legged dog. Nice work, guys. Wherever you are in your journey, look forwards. Take your three-legged plank to Chaturanga if you took that on the first side. And then downward facing dog, take your hips back. All right, she's killing us. What is she doing to us today? Okay, stay with it. <laughs> Lift your heels off the floor. Bend your knees in towards your chest. Crouching dog, you can step jump or walk forwards. Come into a yogi squat at the front of your mat. Guide your hands into your heart. Malasana. Take a grounded breath. If any sounds or sighs wanna come out through your mouth, let it go, let it flow. Okay, take your hands behind you now. And then you're gonna find Navasana, boat pose. Last little bit of spice here, reach the hands out in front of you, hold and breathe. And then begin to straighten both of your legs. Low boat as you reach the hands out in front of you. Take your hands over to the left side now. Hugging your belly into your spine, bring it back to center and then over to the right. You got this, center over towards your left. And then center over towards your right. One more time on each side. Let's bring it back to center and then over towards your left. Find your center and then over towards your right side. Beautiful, come into center, breathe in, one more breath. And then exhale, relax the head and shoulders to the floor as you guide your knees in towards your chest. Nice work. All right, keeping your hands on your knees, just start to roll out your knees. Your knees are pulling apart and then you gently weave them back together. Letting the breath slow down. You can close your eyes and let everything start to feel loose, open, and a little bit more gentle and soft. And then let go of your knees, cross your right foot over your left thigh, find a figure four stretch, weaving your hands in between your left leg. Grab onto that left shin bone as you hug the left thigh closer into the heart space. Pull the right knee forwards. Take a nice loose breath in and a nice relaxed exhale. And then you can gently release the interlace of the hands, uncross the legs, change sides, left foot over right thigh. Hands weave in between this right leg here. Pull the left knee forwards as much as you can. Hold and feel into that. And then very slowly, let's uncross both of your legs. Hug both of your knees in towards your chest space. Pull your forehead towards your knees and take a full inhale. And then breathe out. Let it go. Reach both legs out in front of you. Hands to either side of your body. Come into Shavasana. Dropping your hands down, palms face the sky. Closing your eyes. Let yourself be here without having to be anywhere else for the next two minutes or so.
Begin to deepen your breathing. And feel the movement of your tummy, of your chest with each passing breath. And then you can gently bring the awareness back into your body as you start to wiggle your toes and your fingers. Coming into a full body stretch, you can reach your hands behind you, breathing in. And then exhale, guide the knees into the chest space and start to cross the left foot over the right foot and rock yourself up into a seated position. Making your way into a cross-legged seat, placing one foot in front of the other, guide your hands into your chest and then let's seal in the practice with a nice full and conscious breath in through the nose. Exhale, let it go. Thank you so much for joining me today and thank yourself for showing up for yourself today. Um, let me know how you went in the comment section down below. Give me a nice big thumbs up if you did enjoy this practice. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I post weekly here on YouTube. And as I mentioned earlier, if you are interested in deepening your practice with me and finding full length, 45 to 60 to 70 minute practices that is inside my membership Tana Studio, which is a beautiful space, a beautiful growing community. And it's so wonderful to have so many of you on this journey with me. Um, there is a three day free trial. If you are interested, you can cancel any time. So yeah, hope to see you in there. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next practice.